Welcome to Fights with Friends. Hello friends. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Everybody please hit that like button and give me your comments down below whether you agree with my picks and breakdowns, disagree. Um, we should be looking forward to some great fights on Saturday and as always I'll be having a fight companion uh, on Saturday for the whole main card. Um, let's start it out. I'm going to break down the entire main card right now. Uh, first fight, Drew Dober versus Frank Camacho. Uh, Frank Camacho is 21 and 5. Uh, he's 28 years old. He only has three fights that have gone to decision. Uh, he's ended 18 of his fights, 15 by KO, uh, three by submission. He's got a submission win over Gun Hong Park on uh, May of last year. Uh, First round knockout win over Young Jung Kim in August 2016. Um, the guy's on a pretty good tear right now. Um, Drew Dober, on the other hand, is 18 and 8. Um, 13 of his 18 and wins have become by, stoss by stoppages, uh, 9 by submission. So we got a knockout artist and a submission guy here. Um, his last fight, he knocked out Josh Berkman in the first round. Uh, he had a rear naked choke first round submission of Jamie Varner in 2014. Uh, Dober is a minus 170 favorite. Uh, I am going to take the underdog in this one. I'm going to take Frank Camacho by third round knockout. Uh, next fight up here is Jordan Ronaldo versus Gregor Gillespie. Uh, Jordan Rinaldi is 13-5. and five. Um, He's got nine finishes, eight of them by submission. His last fight, he submitted Alvaro Harin uh, with an impressive shoulder choke. you got to have a lot of pressure and strength to pull off a shoulder choke. Um, he's won six of his last seven. His only loss uh, came to Abel Trujillo by decision, who is no slouch. Um, Gregor Gillespie, though, is an undefeated 10-0 with four knockouts and four subs. Uh, his last fight, he subbed Jason Gonzalez by arm triangle in the second round. Um, he's like a 6-1 to one favorite. Uh, I think he gets past Rinaldi pretty decisively, pretty easy. Um, I call him Gregor Gillespie for a second round finish. Break into the 145 pounders, Dennis Bermudez and uh, Andre Philly. Um, Andre Philly comes into this fight uh, with Dennis Bermudez with a 17 and 5 record. He has 11 finishes himself, eight by knockout. A lot of guys with a lot of finishes on this card. I like that. Uh, he's coming off a unanimous decision win over Artem Labov last October. Um, He's won three of his last five, including a first-round knockout of Gabriel Benitez. His two losses uh, came to tough draws. Um, Calvin Qatar, who of course just had a spectacular knockout on uh, the last pay-per-view on the uh, Stipe Miocic Francis Nagano card, and his other the other loss came to Yaya Rodriguez, who of course is a stud. Um, he was 1 minute and 20 seconds from going the distance with Max Holloway in 2014 when he got caught in a guillotine choke. Um, Dennis Bermudez is 16 and 7. Seems like he's been around forever, right? Uh, he's got 4 knockouts, 3 subs, 9 decision wins. Um, he's fought deeper competition. Um, he's, he's, he has lost his last two fights, a narrow split decision to Darren Elkins. And then he was he was knocked out the fight before that by Chan Sung Jung, who's also been, you know, was on a tear until recently here. But he's got wins over a lot of top fighters through his career. He's beaten Jimmy Rivera, Clay Guida, and he's got a victory over the champion Max Holloway. Um, that champion that win over Max Holloway was in 2014. Obviously, there's questions if he's the same fighter. Max Holloway's obviously not the same fighter. Um, still, uh, I take Bermudez by unanimous decision. Uh, now we're going to move into the main event. Uh, of course, uh, Jacare Souza and Derek Brunson. 
the last time they fought, if you were looking for the fight on YouTube, um, they were in Strike Force. So you're not going to find it on you on uh, searching for UFC. Uh, it was in 2012, actually. Um, Jacare Souza scored a devastating 40, 41 second knockout. Uh, it was very fairly early in Derek's career. Uh, Brunson's won his last two by impressive knockout. Uh, first round knockouts of Daniel Kelly and of course recently Lyota Machida. Uh, he has victory just over some huge names. He's got first round knockouts. Not just victories, first round knockouts for all these guys. Uriah Hall, Rowan Carnera, Sam Alvey, and Ed Herman. Uh, he owns a win over Lorenz Larkin and a prime Chris Lieben back in 2012. Um, since losing to Jacare, he's pretty much been a killing machine. Not too much has gotten in his way. Um, it's kind of like he, you know, maybe that fight, um, you know, re-energized him. So uh, jo let's get to Jacare Souza. Um, Jacare Souza, of course, beat Derek Brunson the last time around. Um, like I said, you'll be able to find that fight if you look for Strike Force on YouTube. Also on UFC's YouTube channel right now. Um, they have a free Bernardo Souza fight. Um, his last fight, um, or a couple fights back, I think it was two fights back, sorry, um, over the Barbarian, Tim Bosch. Very, very impressive, powerful submission win. Um, I, I was very impressed with the strength and power, and just when he gets that angle and he gets you down on the ground, uh, you're in a lot of trouble. Of course, this is five years after the first fight. Jock Ray Sosa is 40 years old. He's coming off a loss to Robert Whitaker. Um, of course, that's after the impressive win over Tim Bosch. Um, right before that, he had a first round knockout of Vitor. Uh, he's had submission wins over Gegard Masasi and Ed Herman. Um, since the Brunson fight, I believe Jacques Ray's game is still more complete. Um, I pick him to win again by second round submission. Uh, and then I think he makes one last run of the title. So that's the breakdown for UFC Fight Night, the main card, um, this Saturday. Um, tune in for the Fights with Friends. I will be here uh, before the main card starts and uh, ready to enjoy it with you guys. I'll see you... Uh, See you Friday for the uh, Bellator card and then Saturday for the UFC card. We're going to do a double card this weekend. So it uh, should be fun. Catch you guys later.